In this episode, you'll learn how to easily switch between different JDK or Java versions on Windows, like say Java 7, Java 8, Java 9. And to start off, go to a directory of your liking, and in my case, that's cdev, and create a new file and simply call it jdk8.bat, a simple Windows batch file. And then there's two things you need to do in that batch file. The first thing is to set the Java home environment variable. And you should set it, obviously, to the directory that contains your Java installation. In my case, there will be C program files Java, and for Java 8, simply the path to the JDK 1.8 directory. I'll copy the path, paste it in here. Now you have to do one more thing, and that's updating your path variable, set it to Java home. Bin, that's very important, not to the Java home directory itself, but the bin directory which contains Java executable, and then the rest of your current path. Now, just so you see something on the command line, you can echo something like display Java version, and then execute Java dash version, or also actually also Maven dot version. Or which I'll remove here because I want to do it manually because you only want to set the Java version. Good. Now simply copy and paste that file and copy it to jdk9.bat. Edit the file and you'll see you'll simply need to change the directory jdk1.8 to jdk-9. Good. And now there's one last thing you need to do in order to be able to call jdk8 or jdk9 from everywhere on your system from the command line you need to add the cdev directory to your environment or to your path. So open up your system environment, change the path variable, add cdev, and then simply open up a new command line window, run jdk8, and you'll see, aha, JDK 8, display Java version, set to 1.8. When you run JDK 9, you'll see, aha, it's Java version 9. And just to make sure, run maven-version. And you'll see here, it uses Java 9. Switch back to 8. Run it again. And you'll see Maven now uses Java version, the 1.8. Great, but there's one last note that switching the Java version is only valid for your current command line window. So when you open up another one and execute Java dash version, you'll see in that command line window, you're running Java version nine instead of eight that you just set it to. Congratulations, you now know how to easily switch between different JDK versions on Windows.